Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and work with the variables and objects that we'll need to do all the calculations for our tip calculator. And so I'm going to start by creating a couple doubles, which are going to hold decimal values. So if I come up here before the onCreate method, space this down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple doubles at the class level so that I can work on it with any method within my class. I'm going to go ahead and create the first double, and we're going to call this one DBL bill amount. Go ahead and put a semicolon to end that. I'm just declaring it. I'm not going to actually instantiate it yet. Now let's go ahead and do another double, and we're going to call this one DBL other tip. And this is going to go ahead and hold the value for the other tip. The first one is going to hold the value for the bill amount. And we're going to be pulling those values out of our edit texts using that get text method we learned in the first section of our course. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a couple strings to use as well. The first string, I'm going to go ahead and call this one str bill amount. I'll go ahead and put a semicolon over after that. And the next one is going to be string str other other tip. And now you'll notice that both of these are very similar. I'm going to use the strings to actually extract the data and then I'm going to convert that string to a double so that I can use a calculation. So I'm going to be working with two different variable types. So the string is going to actually be used to store the data that's actually in the edit text, and then the double will be that string converted over to a number so that I can do math calculations. And the reason for that is so that we do not have to do math calculations on a string, which really is just characters, not a number. Okay, the next, next few objects that we need to create are going to be the edit text objects. So I'm going to go ahead and type in edit text. And we're going to go ahead and do et bill amount. I'll put a semicolon there. And edit text et other tip. And then also text view tv tip total. Now this is going to end up being linked to that edit text that's going to hold the bill amount we enter. And this is going to be linked to that edit text for the other tip amount if they do not want to choose the 10, 15, or 20 percent. And then the text view here is going to be linked to that total text view so that we can actually set the text once we have the calculation done. And you can see a couple different errors. I need to import the edit text. So I'm going to go ahead and import edit text and import the text view. Okay, so let's go to our onCreate method now. And this is after the activity is created. And let's go ahead and link these edit texts to our layout. ET bill amount. We're going to go ahead and have that equal to the edit text. Let's go ahead and find view by ID. R dot ID dot. And it looks like I may have to go back and save my activity. Let's go ahead and do that. Control S. Come back over to my main layout backspace, hit the period, there we go. I want the edit text bill amount. I'll go ahead and put the semicolon there. Now the next one is the ET other tip. I want to go ahead and set that to another edit text. And I need to find the view by ID R dot ID dot edit text other tip. There we go. And then the last one here is the TV tip total. That's going to be a text view. And I want to do the find view by ID, r.id. And we're going to go ahead and look for the text view. I'll have to scroll down here. Tip total. There it is. And semicolon. Now let's go ahead and get that dollar amount from the bill total edit text that we have. I don't want to put it up in the onCreate, and the reason for that is because it'll grab it once the activity is created, and then it won't ever grab it again. So I need to grab it every single time we decide to make a change to our radio group. Whenever we click on that radio group or any of the radio buttons, I want it to then look at the actual text within that edit text. So I'm going to come down to this method because this is going to execute every single time that radio group is selected or any of those radio buttons within the radio group is selected. So in here I want to go ahead now and pull out that text. So let's go ahead and use that string we had, the str bill amount. 
And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to the et bill amount dot get text. I go ahead and do the opening and closing parenthesis, and I'm going to need to convert that to a string. So I'll say to string, and I'll end that with a semicolon. So now we're going to go ahead and take the text value that's typed in the et bill amount, which up here we have linked to the edit text bill amount from our layout. We're going to take that text out as a string and store it in our string variable called str bill amount. Now I can convert that over to a double so we can actually have it as a number that we can work with. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and set the value to dbl bill amount, which is our variable we created at the top there. And we're going to go ahead and parse out that string value into a double. So we're going to say double dot parse double and I have the string. So let's go ahead and use str bill amount. I'll just go ahead and click on that and end that with a semicolon. So essentially what we've done was we created the double that I need bill amount here and the string bill amount here and then I set that edit text bill amount to this et bill amount object within my code. So coming down here, whenever any of those radio buttons on that radio group are selected, this is going to execute every single time, meaning it's going to go ahead and set the value to the string bill amount to whatever was typed into that edit text. And then what it's going to do immediately after it sets that string is it's going to take that string and it's going to parse out a double value for it and store it in our double. And we need that double because we have to do math calculations on a number, not a string. Okay, in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and work on setting up a switch case statement to handle all of the different clicks from our radio group.